Welcome to, what was this freaking place called? It's like Shadow Mountain Lake. Crap, I forgot what the darn place is called. Captain! Hey buddy! A great start off to this camping trip. Our car broke down on the highway, but we're all good. Welcome to Northern South Carolina where there's amazing farm and ranch that has 21 acres of land stretching in the mountains, including this amazing little pond that they have in their backyard. And why I say they is because this is a two acre property owned by a man and his wife who will rent their land out for only two camping spots, which is just the absolute perfect place to unplug during quarantine. And why I say two camping spots is because this entire thing is socially distanced the entire Set up now. <laughs> Personally, one of my favorite parts of this entire thing is you got to unplug from everything. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. And just having the idea that you could come out here and you you didn't have a choice. Out here, there is no cellular reception. Really forcing yourself to, hey, get outside and get off your phone. I can report that after it feels like, which felt like an hour, we have officially pumped this up. Not. Is it deflating? So where we would end up spending most of our time would just be out here hanging out in the lake because man, these days could get hot and they got hot fast. Okay, so I just put the uh, GoPro on Captain right there, but he's got the life jacket on and everything. So I think he probably hates me for this, but I, I told him we'll take it off right after he takes off running after some frogs or whatever these are. Of course, the dogs were another story of this entire thing. Between Remy, of course, coming back, as you guys have all seen Remy before, and her helicopter ears from Twin Lakes, from Captain not even wanting to set foot in the water, unless it was to chase a bullfrog around the lake. It's funny because when you compare the two dogs here, we've got Remy who's been going all day and won't stop. You want me to throw in your wrist chase after Remy? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I don't know how. And then we've got Captain that's begging like crazy to get into the camper and take a nap who's already taken a nap in an inner tube for like an hour today. Get this hat sit straight on my head here okay no that's still kind of crooked <laughs> Anywho, right now we're just eating breakfast and we've got a little bit of fishing going on but other than that we're just kind of all hanging out
This is always the tricky part about camping because everyone's just kind of here to chill out so it's really hard to film. But um, you're fun to film though. High five. Low five. Good talk. Okay, so the deal is today that we're all getting in the lake now and it's only 11 o'clock and it's already blazing hot right now. Yay! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Good girl. Thank Gosh, I love those drone shots so flipping much. Those might have been the best drone shots I've ever taken. Oh, it's so stressful after I chopped my finger off that one time. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so stoked right now. Those are some of the best drone shots I have ever taken. I can't exactly show you the sunset because of these really, oh gosh, maybe. The man who owns this property told us right away, it's like, hey, y'all, the sunsets are amazing here, and these hedges are blocking it, and all my drum batteries are dead. But check this out. Just absolutely insane. I'm gonna be honest, it looked a lot better earlier, but I had to film Captain chasing after a bullfrog, <laughs> which he actually kind of found. <laughs> Oh, you have a bluegill on the line right now? Yeah, but I didn't want to cut it loose and lose a fly. Have to see the dock. <laughs> oh, oh, there he is. He's been swimming the whole time. I'll just let the fish drag in the water. <laughs> right where you caught both of those. Bro. So there you go. That was pretty much our weekend. Our weekend was very much needed in my opinion at least. Just the idea that we could come and get outside like this during a pandemic while being socially distanced. Since when I say we're in the middle of nowhere, we don't have a cellular reception. We, the closest store is like an hour away from here or something. I don't know, I, I haven't left here in th three days. But <laughs> anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, subscribe, notification bell, like, all that other stuff. But without further ado, I'll see you guys next time with like the 20 bajillionth Robba da Bomba da Bum coronavirus. <laughs>